shots line up. Uh, Van Stapperschurf in goal, Harfield, Harries and Kobe Rowe, uh, the centre-backs. Glover and Aaron Jones, the wing-backs. Uh, Willard and Frost in the centre of midfield. Stokes playing behind Tolage and Barham to take the sound out of our ears that we're hearing from the studio. As we're not on the radio tonight, we're underway here at uh, Hayes Lane. Theo Widrington's not watching it on National League TV. He's here. There's a good flick on from Cheek to Whiteley, is it? It's a brilliant goal. Uh, it's a number 11, Louis Dennis. Cheek flick on. The ball landed beautifully for Louis Dennis and he lifted it over six foot five. Jordi van Stapperscherf and Bromley have got themselves a lead inside the second minute here. To up the, the field. Great flick on by Cheek and then Louis Dennis with a sublime finish. You know, like I said, that's what Louis can do. You know, literally, no touch, no look. He just lifted it over the keeper, who was caught in no man's land. I've now got it all to do, and I'm going to have to pull out a stat I'd prepared earlier, and I didn't really want to. But uh, Bromley have scored the first goal in 65% of their games this season. And their average points picked up when scoring first smudge are 2.65 a game. It's a long way back from here for the shots. And here's Bromley again, have picked off all the shots. Ball into cheek, inside the area, and he scores. And Bromley have done what all the shots did earlier in the season on a couple of occasions, and they have scored twice in a minute, twice in the opening three minutes. Defender nicks the ball just in front of the centre forward. Um, and then it was just played through, and then once, like I said, once uh, Cheek is through on goal, that's only going to be end up in one one way, and that's him scoring. Closing down. You've got Louis j just behind him, Corey Whiteley then goes. You know, that there's a good understanding. Here's Frost to Toladge inside the right-hand side of the area. Stokes might get a chance, and he clips it over the bar. Tight, it was kind of tight in on his feet, wasn't it? But, but I've got to give full credit of Ben, uh, ben Crowhouse there. You yep. know, he, he, ch he chased him back, he didn't give up, and just being alongside him may have put him off. Um, Reynolds, good to see him fit and playing. Has the odd little niggle. Oh, it's a, lot, it's a good ball forward. They might keep it in here, Bromley. Cheeks off. He's got Harfield now marking. It's played back, and then there's a heavy touch. And Van Stapperschiff comes well, gets his foot to it, and Rowe clears it to touch. Whiteley mm. is he's causing so many problems. And I'm um, going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest and say, bizarrely, over the years against Aldershot, Corey Whiteley has never really had good games. He's been superb tonight, well, he who is just holding off his man. Now he goes back to Eleraway. Uh, I beg your pardon, Corey Whiteley, um, who plays it. Oh, it's a poor touch. Kean Harris is giving it away to Louis Dennis. And he's, I don't know how it's not gone in, listeners. It had a bit of curl on it, but not enough. Dennis nicked it. Uh, and uh, Van Stapperschiff didn't have to make the save because it just drifted wide, Smudge. Well, should be 3 0. Yeah, that should be. And, 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 and you know what? You wouldn't want it, apart from Cheeky, you wouldn't want it to go to anybody else. Snapshot nice and early, did well. Glover wins the ball. Header down from Tolage. Barham competing for it. And a, a bright Better. start for the shots. Yeah, to keep them under pressure. Jones. Tries a shot from distance and it's on target. And that is the first effort on goal. Forcing a save from a relatively straightforward save from Grant Smith all evening. No, Neil. Yeah, but that was better. They were mm. popping it around one, one and two touch. It was quick. It was, um, you know, in and in and around it. And then there was a final end product. You know, there was a shot at the end of it. All here, but uh, they poked it straight to Whiteley. But well, one from Frost off of Whiteley. Stokes picks it up. Uh, back to goal. Edge of the area. He's made a little wriggled free from his man. Tries the ball in. There's a deflection on it. It's missed by a lot of people, and it's ended up in the net. I'm not quite sure who well, poked it in. I'll, it I'll, might be Jack Barham. He's pumping his fist. The shots have found a way back into it. It wasn't pretty, Neil. No, but they've uh, got to go. Stoke, Stoke's done really well. He, he was driving. He got the shot off. It took a ricochet. Went straight up in the air. I think Byron Webster should have come out and, and headed it. He then ducked, and I think Barham was just behind him. Barham, all the shot, have given themselves a foothold in this game now, and at least the opportunity to put. A bit of doubt in the minds of the Bromley players. There's a good knock-on from Barham to Stokes, who plays it forward. And Reynolds is battling against Tollard, who's missed it. Inside shot. Part, oh, it's blocked. Comes back out to the Frost. And that's blocked. And Aldershot having their best couple of minutes of the game wow, here. Wow, they're, they're, they're playing how Bromley started. Yeah, Harfield cross to the far post. And Reynolds heads it away. Ninth for Jack Barham. 
Bromley take this free kick short from Webster to Crowhouse. He's now up against Jones. Whips in a love, lovely looking cross. Glover does well. He's headed back in. And then another big leap from Rowe to get there in front of Cheek. A shot comes in. And I have to say, listeners, it's a quite brilliant reaction save. Low down to his left from Van Stappershoof. Keep Great defending. The they were putting themselves in the way. You know, Bromley's had two great chances. And then right at the end, the goalkeeper in the defensive side. In comes the ball, driven low, Bromley player goes out, out to the edge of the shot from Miller. Oh, what an unbelievable miss we've just witnessed. So Miller had the shot, it was deflected wide into the path, I think, of uh, the number six, Sam wasn't Wood. it? Yeah, Sam Wood has just come on. Sam Wood has inside, just come inside on. the six-yard box. By Reynolds and is, but only as far as Josh Stokes. He touches it to... Kobe Rowe. The shots are going to have a right good go at this. Ball round the corner from Frost. Finds Tollard. Shot from distance. And he scores! Lauren Tollard the first time he's been able to let fly with his left foot tonight. And he caught Grant Smith leaden footed. I was just about to say Louis Dennis was picking those balls up in the first half where it was just cleared. He was get, he was just coming off the back, back three into the little holes and picking up the second ball. He, he didn't win it. It got intercepted. Tollage then got the ball. No one come out to him. Is it a shot? It looked a weak shot. I forgot. Here's a ball headed all the way back to Rowe, back to Van Stapper, Sherfield clear. I meant to say this when all the shot got there. Oh, that's Kwame Thomas brought down and a 100% yellow card at least. He's off. It's red. He's off. Straight red for Byron Webster against he's... Kwame Thomas. I think, I think it, on that last uh, yep. little attack play... And he knows no complaints from no, Byron no, Webster. No, no. He knows what he's done and he's been caught out. I, I, think, he, I think he got caught, Byron, um, on the last bit of the play when the ball went in the box. And I think he was just retaliating. And, he didn't and, get and Byron would be the same. Taken short the corner to Glover back to Arfield so he can get the cross in. But uh, he doesn't take it first time. He gives it back to Glover. Glover shot from distance. Parried. Will it be followed up? It's good work from Bromley in defence. They clear their lines. And out of their position. Here's Aaron Jones finding Rowe. He's uh, 30 yards out on the right-hand side. He's looking for a little ball into the penalty. He turns it inside to... Uh, well, it's... Oh, miscontrolled. Cleared away by Bromley. Only as far away as far as Stokes. Overlap, can he find Harfield? Can he clip his cross in? Yes, he can. Header is over the bar from Jack Barham. And uh, a chance goes begging for the shots who that's believe a, it or that not. That was a great ball into this. the box. Yeah, and, and that's what Jack can do. He can leap. He can get off the floor. He hasn't got someone to do it with. He's in between two players and he just couldn't keep it down. Just been sent off. They're up against 10 men and we're 11 and a half minutes into a minimum of 15. In comes the corner, headed up in the way by Cheek and then down, and then Stokes battles on it, turns his man, finds Tetek. Can Tetek find a key ball into the box here for shots? He dwells on it, he wastes time, he's fouled, but play on the ball runs to Stokes, who sends it to the far post. Kobe Rowe heads home at the far post for the shots. Bromley two, all the shot three. Neil Smudger-Smith. I was just about to say, Tetek had the ball, he could have put it in, he dragged the player out, he spun him, he just put it out wide. A lovely death ball into the box. And Rowe, what a header. He climbed early, he's headed it back across from where it had come from, into the goal. Grant had no chance. Unbelievable. What odds would you have got three minutes into this game for this scoreline? Bromley 2, Aldershot Town 3. Yeah, long run of wins at home is going to end. Will their long run unbeaten end? Kwame Thomas heads clear. Jack Barham's going to shoot when from, from, from inside his own half. It'll bounce once and Smith will get it. But it was two against one smudge. I know. He's given it it's, to Lauren Tollard who enough, gone I, again. I don't think there's long to go. He just had to keep play. Oh, there, there you go. There is the final whistle. Bromley's long run at home is over. The shots have come from behind. To win by three goals to two.